Hi there everybody, welcome to our Hathi Yoga June routine. Um, all exercises taken from our Hathi Yoga class that we're running at the moment at our studio in Macclesfield. Uh, the exercises I'm going to work through with you today are all about building a little bit of strength. Um, building strength in the glutes, in the hamstrings, um, we're going to have a little bit of balance work as well, so hopefully we can have a little bit of fun with it. But yeah, three exercises as always, no fancy equipment, just a little bit of space. Let's get going. So, our first one, we get to lie down. Not as easy as we think when we get into it, it'll be fine. So, come down onto your back here. We're going to have the knees bent, feet flat on the floor, underneath the knees. Okay, so we don't want the feet to be miles away here, we want them to be fairly close. We're going to lift our hips off the floor. So we're going to be going into a bridge position. And if you need to, you can use your hands to support your pelvis as you do that. So as you push up, try and control the move. So it's always good to know how to have that same mental kind of control all the way up the spine. So we're going to come up nice and high. Once you're here, like I said, if you want to support your hips, your pelvis, push your hands underneath those hips and just support yourself right there. If you're feeling strong, just let the hands stay down by your side or even across your chest if you want to make it just that little bit harder. So, from here, we're going to keep the hips high and we're going to extend one leg, we'll lift it right up to the ceiling. We're going to hold it there just for a couple of moments and then we bring it down. Every time you bring a foot down, you're going to push those hips up a little bit higher because they will naturally want to drop down. So the opposite leg goes up high, bring it down. Make sure you're still putting the feet down roughly underneath the knees, doesn't matter if you're a bit out every now and then. You'll soon realise it'll get a little bit harder to hold the position. So we're just really working through the glutes to keep those hips up high. All the time. Just remember to breathe through the move. We won't do any favours to hold your breath. And hopefully, I'm managing to keep my hips fairly high when we're doing this. Okay. So you get that, you can go ahead and work on that for a little while. Just starting off maybe with 30 seconds is enough and then you can build it up from there. For our next move, we're going to come up to seated. We're going to let the legs go out straight. And we're going to turn your hands so they point back down towards your bum. Doesn't have to be there with the hands, but it's a good position to try to go into. If it feels uncomfortable when we come later into the move, you can turn them out or you can even have them pointed behind you. But it's good to get a little bit of a stretch down the forearms as you're doing this. So here we're going to be working really strongly down the back of the legs into the hamstrings. We're going to lift the hips up high. So it's like a reverse plank, really. Try and really push the heels down into the floor. Keep the hips high. And then we lift one leg. And we lift the other. So your temptation would be to bring your chin to your chest to watch what the legs are doing. Try not to. Try and let it be an extension of your spine all the way up the neck. And just as before, always think about lifting your hips after every repetition. And again, think about breathing. If it helps just talking through it, it means you've got to be breathing. So if you're doing it with a friend or something, just have a matter with them whilst you're doing this. All the time, keeping those hips high. And again, maybe that's enough. Maybe you feel like you can do a little bit more. But we're going to pause right there. You get the idea of what we're trying to achieve. Okay, final one. Let's come up onto all fours. A little bit of balance work going on, but it's really strong on the core, this one. So, from here, we want knees to be underneath hips, hands underneath the shoulders. And we're going to reach back, left hand to left foot. From here, we're going to try and extend that left knee out behind you. So there's different ways of getting into this. Try to begin with, to just take the leg directly behind. 
There will be wobbles. But that's okay. Okay, so we're holding that there. So you've got to keep your tummy pulled in nice and tight here. The back has to work as well. And you're trying to almost push your foot into your hand. That will give you stability. If you find it's really hard to lift that leg up in a straight line, as you saw, it's not easy. You can let yourself twist, building the weight up into the moves. So by that I mean, you're going to turn your body to look to the left. Open up the hips. Still not easy as you can see. There we go. So we open up the hips. And slowly turn your body back down to the floor. So this way you maybe have just a little bit more control getting down into that move. You might find your glutes doing a little bit of work at the same time now. And then when you're ready, with as much control as you can, bring the knee down, release the foot, and we're done. So I'll see you again, we'll repeat that all on the other side. But then we have three moves for you to go and have some fun with. And I shall see you in July with some more exercises for you. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye now.